I want to talk to you about having faith in desperate times. Jesus has just returned from healing the demon-possessed man, and after he heals this man, he begs to go with Jesus, but Jesus tells him, no, go home and tell all that the Lord has done for you. So then it says that Jesus with his disciples come back across the lake and there's a large crowd gathered. In the midst of this crowd comes the local synagogue leader and he falls at Jesus' feet, asking him to come and please heal his daughter who is sick and dying. So meanwhile, while Jesus he decides to go with the synagogue leader to his home, there's a woman in the crowd that's had an issue with bleeding for 12 years. It says that she's been to many doctors and has spent all the money she has but she's no better, but she's actually worse. But she thinks to herself, if I can only reach forward and touch his garment, I will be healed. And so she reaches out to touch him. And immediately Jesus realizes that healing powers went out of him. And he says, who touched me? And his disciples are almost flabbergasted that he asked this because he's in the midst of a huge crowd. Well, the woman realizing what happened to her, realizing she's been healed, comes forward and it tells Jesus what has just happened, what she did. And Jesus tells her in such a tender uh, way, in verse 34, Daughter, your faith has made you well. Go in peace. Your suffering is over. So thankful that Jesus has answered this woman's cry for help. And meanwhile, messengers came from Jairus' home and said, Don't bother the teacher anymore. Your daughter is dead. Jesus overhears this and he says, don't be afraid, just have faith. And so he tells the crowd that they cannot go with him and he only takes Jairus and his three of his disciples, Peter, James, and John, and he goes to the home of this little girl and he sees the other people there weeping and wailing and it says she's not as dead, she's asleep. And they laugh at him and he sends them out and he takes the mother, the father, and his disciples into this little girl's room, holds her hand, and speaks to her and says, little girl, get up. And she stands up and walks around and the parents are amazed. Such a thrilling story in this Mark chapter five that we can learn about and get encouragement from. And it's that faith, to have that faith and to remember that this woman that was bleeding, that had this problem for so long, had to have that faith in Jesus. But also Jairus, when his he had heard that his daughter had already died, Jesus told him to continue to have faith and don't be afraid. And so we want to remember, and I want to leave with Hebrews chapter 11, verses 1 and 6, two verses about faith that can going to encourage us. Faith is the confidence that what we hope for will actually happen. It gives us assurance about the things we cannot see. In verse 6, and it is impossible to please God without faith. Anyone who wants to come to him must believe that God exists and that he rewards those who earnestly seek him. So just remember to keep having that faith in God.